In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a stocking charm. And my stocking charm uses a white toe to make it more distinguished and stocking-like, but you can use whatever colors you like. I'm using white and red. And then I am following a diagram just that I did before from trial and error. <clears throat> so you're going to start at the bottom. You want to make sure that your arrow is pointing up and that you have the U shape. And then you're going to, all of the bands used are double bands with the exception of the overlays. So you're gonna start with two white bands and you're gonna put them on the far right peg. And then you're going to take two more and go from right to left, horizontal. And then from the center to the left. And that is your first um, row and then from here we're going to do two sets of um, two rows of white bands and they're going to go from the back to the front a vertical line so there's one row and then I'm going to do the second row So after you have those first two rows done, you're going to switch to the red. And again, you're going to use um, two red bands. And this time, instead of starting on the right, I'm going to start on the left because we have a diagonal that we're going to put in from the right band to the center peg on the next peg. So there you go. So this is going to start making the stocking shape and then you're going to do a row of just two pegs instead of three like this and then you're going to do one and then the third one here is going to be a diagonal again back to the back like this and then you're going to do one final row of three sets of bands Now if you want to have a white toe, you're going to want to make this band white instead of red. And then you're going to do, um, this is the end of the, the project, so you're going to actually do horizontal bands here from left to center, and you'll want those in red, and then if you're doing the white toe, you'll go from the center to the last peg right here. So when you finish laying all the bands it should look like this. And then what I'm going to do is do the cap bands to help hold it together. So the first one is a single white band. I'm going to wrap it around three times on this peg here in the center of the toe. And then from here I'm going to do a single red band. I'm going to double it and place it on the next row. And then again, a single red band. And then here, where there's only two rows, or two um, bands, I'm going to actually triple it. So you can do that however you like. Everyone has their own twisting methods. And then again, a single band wrapped around three times here in the center. Okay. 
Okay. And then um, these rows here will be double bands. So one more red one doubled. And then one white band doubled. Like this. Okay. So you'll want to take a moment to make sure that all of your bands are in the right order and that you have the shape here to create the inset before like for the leg portion and then where the toe would be. And then you're going to take your hook and push everything down and then rotate your loom. Now when I start um, I generally go from left to right unless there is some reason that would cause you to have to go the opposite direction. And we're going to do this back horizontal row first. So you'll want to stick your hook in and pull it up through the cap band and then make sure that you don't pull the cap band off. And then if you forget one, you can go back and grab it. So do the white one and then the red one. And remember that there are two sets of bands on that peg and you only want to grab the top two. And once again, I grabbed the wrong one. So you can put that back. And try again. There we go. Okay, so you have your horizontal row done. And then now you're going to move from the back to the front. Start with the white, and go back, and then grab this row, and then adjust if you had gooped up like I did. There we go. Okay, so now you're going to work from here all the way up. And then when you get to the di diagonal ones, you want to start with those first, so they do not get caught. And then, like I said, start with the diagonal. Grab those top two. Okay, now you're gonna start on the white ones. Left to right again. Now the final row is this horizontal row, and you're just going to go from right to left. So right to left, and then again, right to left. Once again, I'm just trying to make sure I grab the right bands so I don't goof up the stocking. Okay, and then your final band right there. Okay, now you can either use a C clamp on this or you can pull it through and make um, a knot. It's whatever you prefer. Usually I do the knot if I'm going to use it as a charm. And then from there you can use your hook to pull it off of the band, off the loom and then adjust as needed to make it a little bit box wider on the top and then adjust the toe of your stocking. There you go.
And that's how you make a stocking.